Good day everyone, especially to our dear instructor, Ms. Aban. Good day. So, we are here. We are the last group. We are the group 11. And we are going to discuss uh, several topics that was being assigned to us. So, I have listed here the overview of our discussion first. We have the intelligence cycle, the modus operandi of intelligence operative, identification of criminals, subversive element, classification of documents and safekeeping, basic document in the field of intelligence. The sixth is the document security classification and the last one is the requisites of secret information. So let's proceed to our first topic which is about the intelligence cycle. So what is intelligence cycle? Intelligence cycle is the fundamental cycle of intelligence processing in a civilian or military intelligence agency or in law enforcement as closed path consisting of repeating notes. The stages of the intelligence cycle include the issuance of requirements by planning, collection, evaluation, processing, and dissemination of intelligence. So when we say intelligence cycle, it is a systematic process. A systematic process from the word uh, systematic, there is a methods, there are procedures that, or measures that needs to follow. It is a systematic used by the intelligence agencies or, um, to, to gather, to analyze, to disseminate uh, intelligence information about that certain case. Um, it also consists of interconnected stages that ensure the effectivity and the accuracy of uh, accuracy for for sorry accuracy of the information and also the efficient flow of intelligence so they also varies from different jurisdiction or different agencies so here in the philippines there are a lot of intelligence operatives that we have right so let's next is here is the the process of intelligence cycle first is the planning then second is the collection second third is the processing and the last is disseminate dissemination what is the planning planning the, uh, in this stage sa inina processo is that they will identify intelligence requirements and priorities determining the scope of collection of efforts and setting objectives and goals for the intelligence process involves subdivision and allocation and tasking of collection assets in this um, in this process kay i mean in mga gather and mga kuan and mga operatives are mga gather and mga personnel to make a plan magimo sila ng plano ano ilahi mo on ano ilahain sila mag kuan mag execute nang ilang mga kuan and ilang mga trabaho Amazon and Jaon sa planning. Next is an collection. So sa collection, this is the stage in that involves the gathering of information and data from different sources. Um, the high mga sources na Jaon na para makakuha sila ng mga information, makagather ng mga data to prove or to administer such justices. Then for example, the human intelligence, the signal intelligence, image intelligence, open source intelligence, and others. Collection methods can range from surveillance and interception to interviews and research. Okay, so one of the examples in the collection or best method is on surveillance. There are uh, there are a lot uh, there are some example of surveillance, right? The food surveillance and uh yeah so interception to interviews and research okay so interview and research need nila ng mga open mga intelligence cycle mag interview so on pagaling interview it is a simple questioning diba it is a simple questioning of of a certain person para makagather sila ng data that is the collection next is um processing next is the processing so, and processing, um, in this stage, information undergoes processing which involve organizing, um, categorizing, and validating the data. Ila, atun mga, atun mga information na ila na kuha, na, na gather, is ila ato i-validate e if it is accurate or not. If atun mga data is um, sakto or 
Jaoy uh, tawag ini. Um, Niton mong sa isa ka kaso na ila gina investigahan. Like dili dili lang basta-basta na tungod sa mga hearsay, mga hearsay, mga rumors is amo na dasa jan ila gamiton as an evidence or as an information na ila i sanction sa court which is not kay it needs a deeper investigation especially sa mga heinous crimes and con especially kon heinous crimes and nila tag investigahan like for example sa kon intelligence when you say intelligence di ba mga dag ko na mga case like for example um terrorism mga attacks war di ba so amo sa uh, sa sa processing it also include translation this corruption or other necessary procedures to convert raw data into usable intelligence. So, ang mga toan, processing. Nag-process na information na gikan sa collection. Next, we have the dissemination. After after nila nag-analyze, nag-process ng information, they will move to the dissemination of of information that they have gathered first is reporting second is briefing and disseminate the appropriate consumers or policy makers military commanders law enforcement agencies and other stakeholders dissemination next the third one is the dissemination disseminate disseminate in this stage they will disseminate all the uh, information and data that they have gathered and after diba after my process then ila I analyze ila I validate and then it will, they will disseminate it to the personnel they will have they will have the the and the, the meeting and mga personnel ng mga kung tao like for example um in that i brief nila dito kun ano mga information na nakuha nila sa from different sources so that is the, the dissemination it involves sharing of intelligence intelligence with partner agencies and international allies. Next, we have the last, uh, the next topic, which is about the modus operandi of intelligence operative. Modus operandi is, or also called as MO, is a learned behavior that evolves over time as offenders gain experience and confidence. The offenders continually reshape their modus operandi to meet the demands of the crime, whereas the signature aspect remains a constant and enduring part of each offender. So, modus operandi, it is a learned behavior. When we say learned, is na nakatuna nila from time to time. It involves over time as offenders gain experiences. Like, for example, kung ang isa kabata, makaku... Um, makakumit ng pity primes sa gamay pa sila from time to time kung permanent himo on of course magiging uh, they will gain experiences the child will gain experiences and makukuha ni zone how to size up pagkadako and that is why they will create such uh, they will commit mga dagkuna na crimes and, mga, and will also um, involve in gangs in mga illegal illegal groups, mga fraternities, na mga makakumit ng mga, ng mga um, acts that do not, does not conform to the to the normal norms. Next, uh, the offenders continually reshape their MOs to meet the demands of the crime. Whereas the signature aspect remains constant and enduring part of each uh, offender. So, we have the examples here. First is the ATM automated teller machine scams. Second is the Salisi Gang, the Gudugu Gang, then internet scams. Ang ATM uh, automated teller machine scams is very common na ini sa ato. Right? Kay daghan mga daghan mga uh, mga tao na mag mag kuanira mo mo atog mo atog mga ATM then mag they will uh, do inappropriate or the mga cr crimes magkuan sila ng mga tao like for example ang isa katiguyang is nagkuan sila na nag withdraw and then dili siya kaibayo how to operate the machine and kung isa ka 
like isay mga ska isay mga scammers is scam siya plus if na Amazon and then abaza ang tinood is nag nagkuha na ng money sa ato sa tikuyang which is why panibayanan tikuyang Amazon ATM then the salisigang the salisigang dugudug kagang internet scams Amazon some examples of modus operandi and next we have the intelligence operatives at what as what I've said kaina sa ato Philippines sa ato country is na ay mga intelligence operatives first the national bureau of investigation the second is national counterterrorism action group and the third is the national intelligence coordinating agency actually daghani sila but i choose only three um, um, agencies the national bureau of investigation nbi then sa counterterrorism um, include diyan external crimes from country, from from sa ato country to another country sa the National Intelligence Coordinating Ed Agency. So that is all my part. Let's move to the next reporter, and they will tackle the, the remaining topics that we have. That's all. Thank you.